It's been about one month with the P30, the regular P30, not the Pro, and I'm just gonna give you my thoughts and my experience using this phone. Starting off with the physical shape, I really like how the shape is. I know the Pro is a bit bigger, but honestly, since I have smaller hands, I always tend to go towards the smaller phone. For the button placement, it is placed well, where I would naturally hold the phone, my thumb is already resting on a power button and volume down keys. So I can easily turn on the phone and I won't have to fiddle with my hands just to turn on the phone. The volume up key is a bit of a reach, but as I reach for it with my thumb, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna drop the phone. And because of its narrow shape, it fits in my hands really well and really secured, so my fingers actually have a great grip on them. There's still a headphone jack on this phone, so for you guys to still use wired headphones or the aux cord for your car or speakers or even microphones, so you can still use this without any dongles. The phone does have a flat screen, so it's nice when I'm reaching something on the other side, I don't accidentally hit something on my inner palm. It does still happen once in a blue moon because the bezels are so thin. The phone is really light and thin, so when you have it in your pocket, it doesn't feel like you're being dragged down or you won't really feel it in your pocket at all. The phone does come with the free case, and with my expectations, I don't think it's gonna last very long or it won't look as good in the next two or three months or so because if you guys seen with my Mate 20 video, I've showed how ugly that free case will look like. So I would expect the same quality with the Mate 20 case as is with the P30 case. In terms of the performance for the case, it's nice and thin and it's protective. I have dropped it a couple times and it still protected the phone. It's still good a case that will last you a couple months. So it's a good amount of time until you would get a new case that is even better than the one, than the free one, or it will look better. Now going over my concerns, the first thing I wanna talk about is the in-screen fingerprint sensor. It works well, but it doesn't work as fast or as accurate as the older ones or the physical ones that we are all used to. I feel like I have to push down really hard or leave it there for a good second. Even though it's not a second, it feels forever. To be honest, I use the fingerprint sensor the least on this phone. My preferred way is the face detection. If that doesn't work, then I use the pen. And then the last thing I would use is the fingerprint. I still have the same problem with the face unlock as I did with the Mate 20 where the screen brightness will shoot way up high as I turn it on just to try to read my face and if I'm in a dark bar or when I'm about to fall asleep where all the lights are off and my eyes are already accustomed to a dark place as I turn on the screen the brightness just shoots up super high and it just hurts my eyes. As for the speakers, it's not as loud as other competitors out there. So if you're the type of person that just love blasting your music or play uh, volume at a high level while watching your YouTube videos, then this one may not satisfy you. When I go out to take pictures, the first one I'll grab is the P30. Or if I have multiple phones on me, the first one I'll take out is the P30. The camera's really well-rounded. It works well from daylight all the way down to really, really dark situations. And I gotta say, the telephoto lens on a P30 is such a game changer for me. Before this phone, I never would have used any telephoto lens. I would not zoom in at all because automatically I know that the quality is gonna degrade. With the P30, that changed my mind. And ever since then, I do start using telephoto lenses on other phones. And then I just realized it's not gonna be as clear or as sharp as the P30. The telephoto options on the P30 is just right. It's 3X and 5X. It's just good enough for people who are just walking around the city and want to take a couple of uh, zoom in snapshots. When I had the Pro back then, the 5X and 10X was way too much and I always find myself zooming out a little bit more just to get the 3X because that's how I initially how much I wanted to zoom in. And if you wanna see more about the P30 cameras, I have plenty of those on my channel. Next up is battery life. The battery management on this phone is really good and it will notify you when anything intensive is running in the background so you can actually turn it off. Sometimes it could be annoying where when it tells you that Instagram is running in the background and you already know this and you don't even care or don't wanna hear it, you can just swipe it away or turn it off because the battery management is already so good on this, you won't really need to worry about it. The battery can compete with the Mate 20. I wouldn't say it will last longer than the Mate 20, but it does get pretty close. I would say it's a good five to 10% difference. It really depends on how much you use your phone. So that's pretty surprising because the battery on the P30 is smaller than the one on the Mate 20. Huawei gestures are by far my favorite gestures on any Android phones. It just feels the most natural and I can just go back anywhere on any side of the phone, whether it's on the left side, right side, top left, top right, bottom, it doesn't matter. I can just easily go back to my previous page naturally without needing to struggle to reach anywhere 
just to go back. For everyday use, this is a great phone. I would say the biggest obstacle is the UI. It does take some time to learn and every year it is getting more simple and better. So that is the plus for them. Then again, when you're used to something or when you take time to learn it, you can use this every day like nothing. Honestly, the UI isn't my favorite, but the gestures by far is the game changer and what makes me want to stick with the Huawei. The only thing I wish it had was wireless charging, but that's more of a personal need. Overall, I would recommend this phone to anybody, even though the P on the P30 stands for photographer or the phone is aimed towards photography, this is a great phone to use as a general phone. And it's a plus if you do like taking pictures of family, friends, or even yourself. The phone does really well on that aspect, which is great. And a lot of people do like taking pictures. So that's my one month review of the P30. Remember, these are just my experiences and my opinions using the P30 for a month. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.